Hey my friends, <clears throat> it's Alicia Stringer here, always empowering success streams, and today I need some help deciding something. And I know my daughter is asking this question. This is her face. Mommy. Alright, the question is, Disneyland or Disney World? Which one should we go to? Which one is better? Alright, I need some help. Disney wow. World or Disneyland. <laughs> Disney wow. World is in Orlando in Florida and Disneyland wow. is in <laughs> California. Oh, we got one for Disney World. And I, I don't know. I think you can't really compare them because Disneyland is not very big. Isn't it Disney World like twice as many and then there's like other theme parks around Disney World? Like there's, you got the Epcot Center and then you got, you know... Um, all the different things. Hey, Rob, I need your help. I need your help. Disney wow. World or Disneyland? Which one? Hey, hey. Wow. we have the question out there for you. <laughs> she feels thinks World, Disney World is better <clears throat> because we've never been, she's never been to Disneyland, but I've been to both. Um, growing up, my dad was able to take me both. Rob says Disney World. Anybody else? Hey, here, Hughes 100. <laughs> Disney World or Disneyland? I'm thinking, I've never been to land, but I'd love to. Yes, Disneyland is, I think, a little smaller. And it's just kind of like a, a fun little theme park. Because I, I grew up going to, um, in Houston. You've been to Disney World seven times, Rob. Oh my goodness, you're a master. you got to teach me how to go. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, we get to be there during the food and wine festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, oh my blah, goodness. Blah. I'm not sure about the wine part, Rob. You have to educate me on that. <laughs> but hey, if we got to figure this out, you've got to know the difference. And yeah, it's the best time to go. That's that's for sure. Because it's like a nice, um, the way that the weather is going to be. I mean, it's a nice time of the year and all that kind of stuff as well. So the difference between Binda World and Worlds hands down. Awesome, Hugh. Thanks so much for those tips. Um, I think it's because it's just um, a bigger atmosphere. It has a big, bigger environment and Disneyland just is on the coast of um, California and it has, you know, like all the celebrities. So it's just like totally different. Sometimes people want to compare Disney World to Disneyland and I just don't really feel like they should be compared at all because they are totally different. Um, but favorite rides go. That's right. You've got to know what your favorite rides are to go on. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, they are totally different rides. I think they try to make some similar. Rock and roller coaster. I've got to try that one. You ready for the rock and roller coaster, Paley? I think we should do that. And Voila! Sos Mountain? I think that's Space Mountain, right? Space Mountain rocks. Did we go on Space Mountain last time? I have a story about Space Mountain. When I was little, my um, dad wanted to go on it. Spaceship Earth. Ooh, that sounds scary. This, um, and he was wearing contacts at the time. <laughs> and so that kind of scares me that I'm wearing contacts. <laughs> Test track, yeah. I don't know. He was, um, we went on this ride, and then we know you're like, you're going all around, and it goes really fast. It was so fast, he says his contact, like, flew out in the middle of the ride. And you know, in Space Mountain, it's, like, super dark, and so there's no telling, like, what happened to your contact when that happens. So I always remember that for some reason. It was the first time on Space Mountain my dad lost his eye, you know? <laughs> it's just a cool saying. <laughs> So don't lose your eye on Space Mountain. <laughs> Keep your eyes intact and enjoy the ride. I think it's a peaceful ride. Whenever I was on it with um, my daughter this last year, it was, what was it, last year or the year before? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Space Mountain was your dad's favorite, too. Cool. So it was, I think it's at night. You know, it's dark. Hey, Terrence. And it's just, uh, I think it's so relaxing. I mean, you kind of get the cool breeze in there. You would always listen to his Walkman on it. Yeah, it's like you're in a, your own little space zone in Space Mountain. So, And they don't have that in Disneyland. So we got to have some different perks between Disney World and Disneyland. Those that just joined, Disney World or Disneyland, which ones do you think? Which one would you want to go to? We are going to hit up Disney World and 
Orlando in October 23rd through 25th, 26th, um, 21st, something like that. Um, they don't do Disneyland Paris. Hmm, true. But the reason why I came on here to ask you guys a question was in social media, you have to ask and survey your people of what they like or what they want to be interested in. So this was a type of engagement that I wanted to get from you guys from um, in Periscope, just trying to ask some questions, and it seems like I am bad about it. I need to ask more questions. Hey, Alicia, let's plan on being the opening of Shanghai Disney in March 16. Ooh, that is very tempting. That sounds nice. Um, hit me up. Let's let's talk about. Let me get to Houston first. <laughs> you got like plans and year in advance. That's awesome. <laughs> Tons of hearts for that. <laughs> So he's making me, making pushing me over to the limits, pushing me over to the limits. That's set some huge features there, Rob. Get on to his success streams. Go ask your questions and get engagement in, oh my goodness, Asian tip trip. <laughs> I don't know about an Asian trip, but I am working on getting my passport. So let's, let's work on that. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Two success streams, my friends. I'll see you in the next video. Watch for those questions. Be sure to engage and answer those questions so that you can be your voice and show your voice out there on the internet and be a powerful leader yourself. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.